for independent filmmaking, uh, you know, you're going to need a camera, a good camera, uh, you know, pick some type of digital camera, you know, um, you can get them fairly cheaply. You know, cameras range from, you know, 500 bucks to, you know, you spend $4,000 if you're going to do HD. But just make sure you have a good, you know, camera, has a good image, has enough controls on it and all that. Um, and you want to keep it digital because everything nowadays is digital. So, so you have that. If you can't afford a camera, find somebody who has one that's available. Uh, audio is really important. Make sure you record as you know good sound as possible on your production. And you know sometimes you could use the camera mic, but I don't really recommend it. Um, I guess it's okay if you know your subject's a couple feet away from the camera. Um, but generally, it's kind of bad to do that. You want another type of mic. Um, if there's a scene between actors and they're talking, you usually can't have lavaliers on them like this because you can see the microphone. Um, you know, if you use them, you're going to have to hide them underneath their clothes and stuff, but then you're going to get rustling and all that. So generally the best thing to do on a production where you have a scene where actors are talking, going back and forth, is you have like a boom microphone. And what it is is, um, you know, it's like a boom, like a pole, and you have the, you know, the microphone on the end of it, and somebody is holding it you know, over, you know, the actors and stuff and kind of following them around. So you need somebody just to do that. So, you know, in a, you know, if you're doing camera or not, you're going to need another person just to handle the audio and listen to make sure the audio is good, that there's no background noise. Um, because the last thing you want to do is when you're fin finished with your production and you're editing is, is trying to fix the audio and like redub in audio with people. It, uh, it's a huge hassle. You just don't want to do that. And lights. You just want to make sure you have a couple lights. All the scenes are brightly lit. Um, a lot of times, you know, since the cameras are so good with low light nowadays, you know, some scenes you might not even have to light. Uh, you know, if you're shooting outside, you know, it's not even, a, you know, need no lights at all. But uh, just make sure you have a couple lights handy. And again, you know, you could get professional lights that, you know, range in price from a couple hundred dollars each. Or you could go to a hardware store and get halogen lights or even those scoop lights and just, you know, make sure that, you know, your scene is uh, lit well enough. And in addition to your equipment, you're going to need, you know, gaffer's tape or duct tape. You're going to need pens. You're going to need a notebook to keep track of things. So there's lots of, you know, stuff you're just going to need. Make sure you have enough tape stock um, and just make sure you're prepared for anything that you might need during the production.